Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition weight. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award winning author Mia Motion Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Motion Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Motion Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalay, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific gentleman from Pakistan who is um, a, a fairly well-known cricket player. He's a huge cricket fanatic. And um, as you can see in the video, and uh, he's got um, his bat and a few balls and um, he's ready to go and um, makes me want to play this great game, you know, compare the baseball here in um, America. <laughs> and um, He's also got a YouTube channel. He's a huge influencer on YouTube. It's under... Um, I'm trying to get the name right here. It is, um, what was it? Uh, Stump Mike. <laughs> I mean, I could call it Stump Mike here. So so basically, he's um, lo looking for a lot of people to uh, join. And of course, he'll be happy to tell you about the game, happy to tell you about his career, and um, also his amazing YouTube channel. And also, um, so, also learn something from this um, wonderful cricket player. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube influencer and cricket player and fanatic, Umer Asif. Umer, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Good evening. It's evening here. And thank you so much for the kind introduction you gave about me. It, it's very nice to be sitting around with you and getting uh, some conversation with you. So, <coughs> all set to go. <laughs> Well, it's it's great to have you on board as well, too. So you've been playing cricket for quite some time, and um, you also got uh, your bat. You also got your balls. Maybe um, demonstrate just a little bit. And of course, for some people who don't know, understand the game of cricket, you can also give a brief explanation. Of course, you know here in the states we have baseball, and um, other places in Canada and Mexico. And um, you also with uh, play with some really good people. Played uh, professionally, and you also um, have a YouTube channel called Stump Mike, which. Um, talks cricket as well with uh, some of the um, coaches, players, some highlights and everything else. And before we get into all that, tell us how I first got started, Amir. Uh, well, I, uh, when, I, uh, when I started playing cricket, I was very young at that time. Uh, at that time, I was like seven years when I uh, carried the bat for the first time. You know, before that, I had no interest in cricket. Actually, I used to ask my father that, what do you get by... Uh, why do you watch cricket on TV? So he used to make fun of me at that time. That he told me that cricket is a very good game. But when I uh, get, uh, got into the uh, the game, like uh, I, as I mentioned, I was just seven years old at that time. So I started to play that. I really enjoyed that, and uh, I realized that it's a very uh, beautiful game and it entertains you. So uh, I opted for it, and I uh, wanted to become a professional cricketer. But unfortunately, I couldn't uh, for some reasons. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was the first time uh, when I carried the bat and played some cricket. Mm -hmm. And what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into playing cricket? Besides you, um, you know, watched it on TV or you're, um, you know, you try it out. What was that one moment that precisely influenced you into say, this is what I'm going to do um, for, for my career? Well, uh, the one thing uh, which influenced me, uh, uh, we were on a family trip to Dubai in two, the 2005. And uh, it was very hot and humid in the, uh, in the uh, afternoon, especially. So we used to stay in our rooms uh, in the afternoon. So at that time, uh, we used to turn on the TV and there was nothing special on that. It was just uh, cricket being played on it. And uh, the, at that time, there was a series going on between England and Australia uh, in 2005, August 2005. And I started to watch that uh, series and uh, uh, I uh, really 
enjoyed looking at that uh, players playing it from uh, England. You know, I really like those mm-hmm. players: Kevin Peterson, Michael Vaughan, Ian Bell, Paul Collingwood, Andrew Printop, and the, all the scenarios there, the uh, sceneries and the grounds. I I used I didn't like cricket before that, but when I watched cricket uh, in Dubai for the first time there, I thought, yeah, it's a good game. So that moment influenced me when I came back to Pakistan. So I started to play here in the ground. And I, I enjoyed that, and I thought it was a very good, uh, it was a very good uh, step by me uh, uh, while I started to look uh, uh, when I started to watch cricket on TV. So I thought, yeah, that's a good thing I've done there. Mm-hmm. So that and, moment really influenced me. And and, uh, and you, I just wanted to clarify as well too. You say you play in England for uh, seven years, so you played in England for a while. No, no, I didn't play for England. I, no, I, in, you played in England. You know, when you play, played uh, for the Pakistan team, you played in England. I just want to clarify that. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. All right. And and, and so, um, who are some of your favorite? Um, who are some of your favorite players um, growing up? Right now, uh, my favorite players are from South Africa. Both of them, uh, Fairview Blesses uh, and the Dale Stain. And if you ask why they are my favorite players, I would say that Fairview Blesses is one of the great personalities uh, around the globe when we look into him uh, as a captain and the at- attitude he possesses on the field. I really like that and I try to, uh, you know, uh, copy his feeling styles. He's not a very good batsman. He's not uh, a legend of the game, but he's just a mediocre batsman. Most of the people won't agree with me that uh, why do you like Fairview Blessing? But uh, I do like him. You know, it's my opinion. And Dale Stain, uh, the one of my favorite bowlers, fast bowlers, deadly bowlers he is. He has been Ranked number one in the ICC test ranking for six consecutive years. No one was able to dethrone him from that mm-hmm. post. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, for six years, he had been there from 2009 to 2015. So yeah, th- those were the two personalities that I really admire and I really like them. And uh, uh, across the border, uh, there is Mahindra Singh Pony, who is uh, world famous. And his captaincy skills and his wicket keeping skills are beyond expectation. So I like him as well. He's one mm-hmm. of, uh, mm-hmm. he can be counted as one of the most favorite players as well. Wow, that is amazing. And of course, you played, um, you know, you know, cricket for um, for several years as well too. And um, what what are some teams that you've been on? And um, you know, what was their record? And, and how many uh, playoffs have you got in? And also the championships. Yeah, the local tournaments, uh, uh, the, uh, most of the trophies that, uh, trophies that I have uh, were one of the local tournaments, like the tape ball tournaments that uh, we have played here in Pakistan. Before that, I used to play for a club known as Aligarh Cricket Club, which is situated in Maritam, Lahore. And uh, I've been playing that, I've been playing there. And other than that, I played for my college team, for my university team. And... Uh, uh, but by now, uh, I used to play uh, the staple cricket for just source of an entertainment and I just want to enjoy the game now uh, because the professional uh, point of view is gone uh, because of the studies. So yeah, uh, I just play table cricket now and about the trophies and the tournaments you asked. Uh, I would like to tell that uh, the local tournaments, I've played a lot of tournaments all around the Lahore and outside Lahore uh, and uh, we won. A lot of them, and I've got a lot of trophies. Like I've been awarded as a man of the series in a lot of tournaments, best batsman of the tournament, best bowler of the tournament. So yeah, I've got several trophies under my belt. Wow, that is amazing! I mean, you did a really nice job over there. And then um, after your 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 playing your cricket playing career was finished, you know, besides uh, with your YouTube channel, any aspirations of um, being a coach or um, working somewhere along the lines of cricket? Yeah, I just wanted to be, now Now I thought, yeah, now I haven't played cricket professionally and I have to uh, let it go through. So I thought, yeah, I can just uh, uh, get myself something, uh, I want to involve myself into cricket. So yes, as I mentioned that I've been playing table cricket, I do play. So I thought, yeah, other than that, I, I should do something else. So yeah, I got myself a YouTube channel. I uh, got, uh, I, I thought okay, I could share my knowledge. And uh, I could uh, analyze the uh, cricket all around the country, and I probably people would like out there uh, looking at them. They would uh, looking at the videos. People would say, "Yeah, uh, he's going right. He's in the flow." Uh, so yeah, so far I've got a good uh, flow, uh, good response. And uh, the basic purpose was uh, this uh, YouTube channel was to involve myself in cricket as much as I can. 
Mm -hmm. And that's very amazing as well, too. We'll talk about your YouTube channel in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look in professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout out to our official War Ring sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warning author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash The Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter. Today, also check out the Mike Wagner Show merchandise at Amazon.com slash Mike Wagner Show and check out Me and Motion Zia's uh, Amazon store at Amazon.com slash Me and Motion Zia. We're here today with, um, you know, you know t- the very talented cricket uh, fanatic player and also host of the YouTube channel Stump Mike. Umer Asif here on the Mike Wagner Show. And before we talk about your YouTube channel, maybe just explain the game of cricket for a little bit. You see you got your um, bat over here, and you also got, um, you know, three balls. And uh, maybe, first of all, just um, tell us about uh, maybe just a brief game about uh, cricket and also what are those uh, three balls stand for with the red, yellow, and white, and also the uh, special paddle. All right. So, basically, cricket uh, uh, here has the three formats of the game. One is the longer format, which is known as the, the test cricket. Uh, the other one is a 50-over game, which is known as ODI cricket, One Day International. And another one, the third one, is the 2020, which is T20 International, which is a 20-over game. So in uh, in the ODIs and T20Is, there are no uh, m- much of the differences. Uh, the main thing is that uh, the game is uh, of 50 overs in one day, and in T20s, it's of 20 overs. So uh, there's a team, there's a uh, first, uh, both, both the captains go out in the middle with the empire, they uh, toss a coin, uh, whichever team uh, wins, uh, they decide whether to bat first or bowl first. Mm-hmm. And uh, Whichever teams uh, goes out, they they put uh, they try to put on a good total on the board. They start to bat and you know they start to utilize uh, the filters. That filters are up in the circles. They try to go over them and hit some boundaries. And you know, uh, and the average size of a boundary is like seventy meters from the wicket, and seventy to eighty meters somewhere between that. And you know, once you clear the rope directly, it, it is considered as a six. And once the ball has bounced and it clears the boundary, it is known as four. That that the mm-hmm. four runs are awarded to the batting team. Uh, the 50-over game and the T20I game is played with the uh, white ball. This is not a proper uh, white ball which is uh, used for that. But the red ball for the Test cricket, this one is. It, this is known as a hard ball. Uh, this is used in Test ball cricket. Oh, well, uh, in Test Test match, uh, the game is played for five consecutive days. And which are divided into three sessions per day. Uh, a a two-hour session, uh, then they get a 40-minute break. Then another two-hour session, then they get two-hour, uh, 20-minute break. That that is known as uh, tea break. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, test cricket is a bit different uh, than the uh, ODIs and T20Is. In test cricket, uh, a team bats first, then the second team bats, and they try to uh, when they when they achieve the total, first team has won. Uh, first team has posted. They try to cross that as many as they can. If someone has scored 300, the team batting first has scored 300, team batting second would come they, and they have scored 450 runs in their first innings. So uh, it will be stated that they have got a lead by 150 runs. So the batting one team will come again and they will try to first uh, score those 150 runs. When they will score those 150 runs, their score will turn out to be zero. And then they'll give them the target from none from 150. It will be considered their their score is zero, and they'll put on another total. 
and whatever the total uh, whatever the put total after 150 will be the target for the betting second team and if uh, the betting second team comes and chase that score they will be the winners and if they are not uh, able to do that they will they'll be the loser and one more interesting thing in this match is that if you there's a provided time 90 hours are bold per day and uh, as I mentioned, it's of uh, five days. And if, if the fifth day uh, fifth day is being played and you are unable to chase the score and the opposition is unable to get all your 10 wickets, so that match will be considered as a draw. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, the, all the results are possible in test match cricket, whereas in ODIs and in T20Is, you don't get that often. Okay. So so it sounds like with the five days you guys play, it's, it's, it's almost like a series. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it's like a series of play, like sessions, they are divided into sessions, three sessions per day. Okay. It's almost like baseball too. You play one game, it can go anywhere from two hours to three hours, depending upon the pace. And um, also just like, say, if uh, you go five and um, it's almost like you win the series, you draw and everything else. And um, also too, like with the three balls that um, that signifies, and um, is is there like a special material that's uh, made with these balls, like a special wood or Anything like that? So, uh, what what's a special material that's used for the balls and also your um your bat as well too? Yeah, the material which is used in the hard ball, you know, the, it's been first uh, sewed with the thread all around, and then it's coated with some hardness on it, and uh, then another thread of uh, uh, there's another thread which is known as a seam, and it is very hard, you know, it's uh, it doesn't look like that it's hard, but when it gets to the head, you know, the grip, you feel that it's very, very hard for the people. Like the ones who don't play cricket uh, and they do not know the right way to pick up the ball or grab, you know, it can injure your fingers. It's that hard, you know, it can uh, really, really injure your fingers and you could just be out for two weeks. Like mm-hmm. most of the people, even, even, even the players who are professionally, they get some fractured, their fingers get fractured while selling with it. So, 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 so you guys catch with your hands or do you guys have gloves? No, no, we don't have the gloves for this. We have uh, just the hands. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. as I know that, as you mentioned that, in the baseball there is uh, there is the uh, offer of a glove. You, the, the players have gloves in their hand, but uh, the hard ball is lesser uh, lesser hard than the baseball. So yeah, it's easier for the hands to carry that. Uh, it can grip nicely with the hands as well, hmm. but it hurts even uh, getting with that in the hand. It hurts. But still, people play that because it's a very good game. I was going to say, you guys are pretty tough. It's like it hurt, hurt my hand. I'd be out for eight weeks and just crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but once you get used to it, you'll be a perfect catcher. I can assure that. And you also have a, a special bat as well, too, if you reach behind and uh, maybe just um, tell us more about the bat or if you have a different name, like the paddle or something. And um, what, what is that made out of? Maybe just uh, reach behind and um, and show our uh, viewers out here. It's, it's made from a special bird, uh, you know. <laughs> Just, just like the bed, and you know, it's been threaded here as well. There's a thread here as well. It's rolled here, and uh, uh, I don't have a grip on it actually right now. Uh, but there's a grip on the bed as well. You know, once uh, the grip, uh, the, uh, there's a grip on it because once you are bedding like this, and you have to hold it. So uh, uh, if if there won't be any grip on it, uh, when you uh, play a shot, the bed would slip out of your hand. So there's a grip on it as well, uh, which is not here at this point in time. Mm-hmm. And uh, this, this is the protected sheet over the wood. Uh, you can see the marks, uh, the red marks on the bo- uh, of the hard ball. And it's of this this ball, the hard ball. You know. When okay. you play a shot, sometimes uh, the mark of the ball sticks to it, but in the middle of the ball. Mm-hmm. So it, it, if there's a sheet. Uh, no, sorry. go ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So there's a sheet which is used uh, for the protection. And uh, other than that, these are the speakers of the sponsor who sponsored the band, the Kukabara is the world famous, obviously. And it's it, the, this band is signed by Ricky Ponting. This is the Ricky Ponting, the oh, wow. uh, Australian captain uh, who has played, who's done wonders for his country. And uh, there's nothing else uh, in the band. I think uh, this, like the bird, like uh, you can, I don't know whether you can hear this sound or not, but mm-hmm. you know. I, I can hear it. And, uh... And, and and what type of wood is being used for this bat? Is it like pine? Is it uh, maple? Or um, what what type of wood is is uh, used for the bat? The pine wood. The pine, pine wood. wood. Oh, good. Okay, it's just like regular baseball here in the states, y'all. Pine and um, you know whatever else, just like we just hook up and um, we swing like that. So this is somewhat similar to um, 
American baseball. It's somewhat similar, but you guys just, um, you know, just play it a different way. Yeah, it's, it is similar to the baseball, but in, uh, we, uh, as you mentioned, we play it in a different way. And uh, I know that in the United States, the cricket is not as much recognized as it's, uh, baseball is, but uh, in Europe and in Asia, you know, the cricket is very much famous and people are mad about it, especially the Pakistanis, the Indians, the Bangladeshis and the Sri Lankans. They love cricket. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> well, I'm sure there'll be argue, argument out over uh, some baseball fanatics, and um, we'll go in depth more about your uh, YouTube channel as well, too. You can also um, educate your listeners and viewers out there. Let's remind everybody, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by SoundCloud Studios, also brought to you by Aaron Heschel, award-winning sponsor, Me Emotions Zia of Missing. And we'll be back with Umer Asif after this time uh, on the Mike Wagner Show. We are back with uh, Umer Asif, um, you know, famous uh, cricket player and also a cricket back here on the Mike Wagner show. And uh, you also have a YouTube channel and we're finally going to get to it. It's called Stump Mike. And uh, tell us more about that. And how'd you come up with the name Stump Mike, first of all? <laughs> well, uh, I wanted to, you know, uh, create a unique name for that. And uh, I thought what can be a unique name. So I thought that uh, like Stump Mike, uh, is an equipment used in the cricket, you know, uh, behind the batsman, there are three stumps, uh, which are known as wickets. And uh, now, as we all know, the technology is so advanced, so we got a camera in the middle of the stump. Uh, so, when a batsman is batting, we got a view from the back as well, uh, which is uh, situated in the middle of the uh, uh, middle stump. And then we got a mic in it. Uh, which is used to capture the voices of the batsmen and the wicket keepers and uh, the umpires uh, giving that out or not out and just to capture that. So there's an equipment in cricket which is known as stump mic. So I thought, yeah, this is a unique name. I should use this as my YouTube channel. So I just went for it and I searched that is anyone else using that name? So no one was using that. So I thought, yeah, I should use that. So I opted for that stump mic. Wow, that is amazing. It's almost like uh, putting a mic and uh, having like live action just... Um... Go ahead, just like do with uh, regular sports all over the world, including America, like on some networks, like you put a mic to somebody and say, um, hey, that was a bad call and all of that. So I hear you got to pitch this guy. So, you know, that's what it sounds like. You got a really unique channel. And um, tell us about some of the guests and also coaches and some of the um, the famous uh, people you've had on Stump Mike so far. Well, I uh, right now I'm looking uh, to get some uh, former Pakistani players uh, to get my, my uh, get my uh, on my uh, channel, so I could just interview them and then uh, upload that uh, video on the YouTube. Uh, by now, I've just been uh, into a discussion with one of my friends who has been uh, who has been my class friend and is very much uh, who has very much knowledge regarding the cricket. So I have a discussion for analysis with him, and I've uploaded that on my YouTube channel. So I'll be looking forward to just get some guests on my show and then uh, on my channel, and then upload the videos on it as well. That is very amazing. And where can we find you at on YouTube? Uh, sorry, I, I said where can we where can we find your channel at? Uh, well, just uh, you just have to find, uh, write uh, stump mic in the YouTube uh, channel and you just uh, find that. And uh, right now it's not that famous. So, yeah, just uh, I, I have shared the link with you. You can share it with uh, the public there and then they can go and follow that link mm -hmm. and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a very important as well, too. We're here with, um, you know, Pakistani player and uh, Pakistan and uh, cricket fanatic Umer Asif here on the Mike Wagner Show. And just a few more things um, we'd like to have back on in 2021 and beyond. And um, what can we expect from you uh, this year and the next? Well, in 2021, you were asking me about the channel or uh, overall? It, it, it can be uh, not just a channel, but uh, other pro projects as well, too. What can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond? Or well yeah, right now in, in 2021, I'll be completing my MBA, first of all, uh, inshallah, uh, Master's in Business Administration. So that's the first, that's a priority. And uh, uh, by the side, I'll be working on my channel. I, I have uh, thought of it getting into 2021. I just have to not only focus on my studies, but I have to look at this channel as well. So I'm going to get some growth. I want to uh, grow in that. And... I'll be looking for more subscribers. I'll be looking for more content. I'll be trying to post the content that uh, fascinates audience and they like that. And they, uh, uh, for the cricket lovers, the ones who understand the game 
can uh, opt from my channel to understand and look at the an analysis of the matches. And the basic purpose of the channel is to just uh, make people aware of what's going all around the country, all around the globe regarding the cricket. So I'll be posting some content on my channel, uh, which will make people aware that uh, what is happening in the cricketing world right now. That is so amazing. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Umer? In my career, I think Kevin Peterson, uh, one of the English, England batsmen, you know, he was amazing. Uh, I started to play cricket. I'll be honest with you. I started playing cricket with, uh, uh, by, uh, by looking at him because he had a very brilliant style. You know, he had blonde hair from one side and black from one side. And he was batting and he's a muscular tall guy and he was batting. And I was saw at him. I looked at him and I thought, yeah, man, this, this man is wonderful. And he smashes the ball very well, swings the bat very hard. And he was hitting all around the park. So I thought, yeah, this man... Uh, has yeah there's a reason that i started playing cricket because he inspired me to play cricket so yeah uh, i started to play cricket by looking at him but now unfortunately i'm not playing the professional cricket <laughs> that's so amazing <laughs> and what and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point the best advice ever regarding the channel or the content i've heard it can, is, it can be the, it can be anything in general the anything in general. The, so uh, the best advice that I could say is just uh, that I've heard from my parents and from most of the people around it, just never give up. If you have started a thing or you've just started a venture, uh, slowly and gradually, you'll grow in it. You want the, uh, the, uh, the fame or the thing won't come very easily to you. You have to work hard. Uh, most of the people, you know, just uh, leave things when they are not getting some progress in it. So everybody, uh, you know, the closer uh, the closer ones have told me never to uh, never give up. Just focus on it. If you have started something, just keep going, keep going. Even though if it take it, if it's if it is taking time, just go on with the flow. So I think I've uh, done that in the past as well, and the outcomes have been brilliant. So I'll just uh, do that for the, my channel as well, and uh, in the upcoming life that I have. I'll uh, try to follow this advice of it. That is so amazing. Once again, Umera Sifa here on the Mike Wagner Show of the YouTube channel Stump Mike. Um, you know, you know, very famous uh, uh, cricket player and also cricket fanatic. Very big. Thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And keep us up to date. And once again, tell us about your upcoming project, what's your website, how do people contact you, and where can people uh, check out your channel? All right. Thank you. Thank you once again for having me on the show. Firstly, it was very nice to be with you and uh, getting interviewed by you. It felt really nice. It's a pleasure. And uh, uh, to contact me, I have an Instagram page, which is known as Crick Ossips, C-R-I-C-O-S-S-I-P-S, -S -S Crick Ossips. And I have a channel on YouTube, uh, which is known as Stump Mike. And uh, people can, uh, I'll share the link with you as well. People can go and subscribe to that channel and follow the page on the Instagram. And, you know, they can just message me there and I'll try to respond to them. We certainly will check it out. Once again, Amara, very big. Thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And uh, maybe we can play some uh, cricket sometime. Yeah, probably, yeah. Surely play something sometime, inshallah. Thank you once again.